So we've currently stopped off at the service station. Got some Greggs. I'm having a southern fried chicken baguette. And I've got, I don't know, some tandoori chicken, cornfield stuff. Oh yeah. Um. Hello and welcome back to Exploring with Dukes. Alright, we have come to the Caton Hall and the Caton Caves, which are also are known as the Knights Templar Caves. Supposedly this was built by the Knights Templars, which, if you're aware or not, they are also connected in with the Freemasons. And there is a beautiful hall right within the sites of where we're going to so let's get down to it. No, it's... There's no lead, no collar, no nothing. And as you can see down there, there's no one on the road either. Okay. Hello. Wow. Uh, so we are, in fact, near enough directly next to a RAF base, as you can probably hear by the airplane that's going over us, and there's presumably a feral dog. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? You're right, like... I don't know what to say to that one. You try and... get in the car or something? Uh, it's gone to a field now. Yeah. Um, so the main road. Well, I mean, yeah. This road's a country road with like a... How do you say it? National speed limit, which is 70, 80 miles an hour. Some dogs buggered off. <laughs> but we're gonna have a little walk up here before we go in. <laughs> I can turn around. No. Okay, non emergency West Mercia police. Alright then, let's get to it. So here we go. A bit barbed wire. Can't hurt no one. Already see where it is. Daniel's nearly on his arse already, bloody hell. Aren't you guys lucky to see this? Help you. And he nearly fell already, bloody hell. I've only got through the first gate. I'm gonna walkie bit. Supposedly CCTV. But I don't see no. There's where Dayton Hall is. See old fencing that used to go down here. I'm gonna take the old route, which would have gone down here, as you can see by the actual fencing. So Daniel is being done. And nope, I'm going to turn back around and go the way everyone goes. There's no keep out signs or anything, so that's. Yeah, I can see it already. That's a nice CCTV. Pardon me. I too rooted. Not using the gimbal at the minute until Daniel gets through. I'm gonna go left here and then I presume it'll be around here somewhere. Bit of swampy lands. Which we'll have to go through.
Now this place has been on Ryan and Daniel's radar for quite some time. But I believe that's actually about the caverns, cave systems, I shouldn't say. Yeah. Have them, there's one. One entrance there. And then that one's been, as you can see, caved in. Nice slabs up top. That's done. Here we are. Fucking made it. Well, all these me. years. I was just about all saying. These years. It's too much. Look, no, that's been uh, collapsed. I have just seen a box that appeared to look like one of those. Where? CCTV boxes over there on that fence. Oh, too rude. So apparently this was found by the local farmer. Who fell down a rabbit hole. Which I presume would have been that one. Hmm. Right. Torch is on, let's get down to it. Yep. And the doggy woggy has... Come back to say hello. Hey, mate. So, I wonder what this looked like before is a rabbit hole. Well, when it was well you can hole. see all the fences that go around in there. Sorry, that's how fancy it's a rabbit hole. Yeah. So, I wonder what it looked like when it was a rabbit hole. For him to stand on the fall down. Right, so he's going in. Just gonna leave you guys there for two seconds if my phone wants to stay still. Probably the film going in. I know it's gonna be your worst nightmare here because I'm not uh, built for dwarfs. You're going to have to film me getting in because there's no way I'm going to get in with my bag while holding the torch and gimbal with the bag and that short little entrance. Yeah, let's try this first. Oh, it's so fucking hell, it's tiny. It's a crawl space. Yeah, once you're in. No, it's a literal crawl space. Oh, lordy. Right, let's... I'm not going to bag after Put your bag down on that shelf and get in the hell. Wow. 
I think he'll just leave a bag down here. Okay. So I'm just going to leave my bag here. Sure. For now. Actually, I'll take it a bit further down. Yeah, yeah someone's been dumping fly tipping and throwing rubbish all over here. Wow. This is the famous Knight Templar cave on one of the shelves here. Oh wow! That's beautiful. Wow. I'm a bit too tall to go through there, so Daniel can show you through that. <coughs> right, Dan. Um, if you go through straight on, I can't fit through there. It's way too small. Where? Carry on going straight and around. It's like where the other opening is. So unfortunately, my gimbal, beautiful spider, my gimbal's broken, so I'm currently using a bit of a tripod. Wow. It goes further. Done 2015. This, you are dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Luca. Oh, I've been drawing triangles and everything all over. Oh wow. Right, 
how do I do this again? Let's just place it right about there. Oh, nope. Could really use a tripod here, but yes. I'm going to sit on the cursed seat. You know, are you? Oh, yes, I am. I'm so we have. Wow, this is better than my thing than what I thought it was. See, it's the stones. Ooh. Right, your turn. You go sit down in that chair. Close your eyes. Just if you do go around that corner. Um, all it is, it's like a opening. It's like uh, it's like a little mini opening with a key. Yeah, it's the one that like a flower in it. If you go on YouTube, you'll see pictures of the flower. Right, go sit down on that seat. Close your eyes. Wow, there's just. There's just so much to look at, just... And relax. I don't even know it, uh... Yeah, man. Right, give us your gimbal. Put your torch facing towards that stool. S and G. I'm doing that then. Yeah, this is really designed for dwarfs. It comes up to my shoulders, this entrance does. <laughs> <laughs> and this is with me slouching my legs a bit on my back. All C and I. Yeah. I mean, I was just saying a few minutes ago, if there's anything that the, the viewers can see, which we can't, just leave them down below. Close your eyes and relax. <sighs> Get some pictures like I did. With you. Can you put, yeah, you can. No, it's all looking back. Let us know how you feel. I'll give you two minutes like I did to myself. Close your eyes, relax. Yeah, Try and get around that corner and crawl through it and you'll see the flowers really nice to look at. Yeah. Like everything in your mind is vacant. It is, I just feel calm. I was nervous coming here, but now I just feel just feel at ease. I can hear on it. Female woman. Female? Could you not hear that? No, I'm passing my torch. I'm praying that the camera's picked that up. Yeah, 
umbringen. Und da kannst du gut fahren. Ja, hör da, aber da war halt schon die Höhe lang gekommen. Kommen. Let's go on with the rest of the explore. We need to find more checks about it all. Yeah, you just want Session. Already? Spirit session. Saying that with your footage and my footage, we could probably do a half an hour for five minute video because I film like 12, 15 minutes alone just going round. And with your footage as well. This has been recently carved. Yeah. Rich. What's up, man? You can see, look, there's no tool marks on the pillars, but look, look there, it's all marks. Yeah, as if someone's been scratching with their fingers for years and years and years. It looks like a pitchfork, like it's been dug in, just like in the caves. It's an empty, um, Peel Street. They're like that, weren't they, all along the walls. But everywhere it's like that, but look, you can't even see any on the pillars. Mm. The pillars are all smooth. Apparently, if you scratch it, you can actually uh, yeah. make a mark, yeah. How strange, how, have they gone down with sandpaper or something and sanded them all over with the pillars? Sandpaper on sandstone isn't exactly. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Hello. Homer, hello. Homer, we've seen to be seeing that a lot on that log of the hippie log. I should have bought some candles, you know, that epic name. There are candles around. Yeah, no, but they've all been... No? Swag. Alright, so here we are. Inside. Your entrance, it's been caved in. Wow. 
You're doing lots of cinematics, cinematics as well. You're doing lots of cinematic shots as well. Sentencing. Wow, this is better than my thing and what I thought it was. See, they used to be stones. Right, you want to turn, you can sit down in that chair. Close your eyes. If you do go around that corner, um, all it is is like a, it's like, uh, it's like a little mini opening with a cave. Yeah, it's one. With like a flower on it. If you go on YouTube, you'll see pictures of the flower. Right, go sit down on that seat. Close your eyes. Wow, there's just, there's just so much to look at, just. And you're relaxed. I don't even know where to. Give us your gimbal, put your torch facing towards us. SNG, I wonder who that is then. Yeah, this is a really designed for dwarfs. It comes up to my shoulders, it's the entrance door. <laughs> <laughs> and this is with me slouching my legs a bit on my back. Or C&I. Yeah. Yeah. I was just saying a few minutes ago, if there's anything that the, the viewers can see which we can't, just leave it down the way. Wow. Right, so you want me to sit here? Close your eyes and relax. <laughs> Get some pictures like I did. Oh. You. Can you get your camera there? Sorry, you're back. There's no how you feel. I'll give you two minutes like I did myself. Close your eyes, relax. And try and get around that corner, crawl through it, and you'll see the flowers really nice to look at. Yeah. Like everything. And your mind is vacant. It is. I just feel calm. I was nervous coming here, but now I just feel... just feel at ease. If I can hear humming. Oh, we 
it's better to have my head around. Like female woman. No. Could you not hear that? No, I'm gonna pass from a torch. I'm praying for the camera's picked that up. I don't know if it's a car or... Rumbling. Just not the engines on the airfield. I heard a woman like... Yeah, that rumbling. Mm. Sounds like a subwoofer. Yeah, I just want to do some cinematics now. Some pictures, different kind of light. Spirit session. Already. Saying that with your footage and my footage, you could probably use a half an hour, forty-five minute video because I've filmed like 12, 15 minutes alone, just going round. And with your footage as well. This has been recently carved. Yeah. Bitch. You can see a lot. There's no tool marks. On the pillars, but look, you look there, it's all marks. Yeah, as if someone's been scratching with the things for years and years and years. And it looks like a pitchfork, the way it's been dug in, just like in the caves. It's an empty, um, Peel Street. They're like that when they're all on the walls. But everywhere it's like that, but look, you can't even see any on the pillars. Mm. The pillars are all smooth. Apparently if you scratch it, you can actually uh, yeah. make a mark, yeah. So strange how have they come down with sandpaper or something? I sand them all over with the pillars. Sandpaper on sandstone isn't exactly. Well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Hello. Homer Helen. Homer. We've seen to be seeing that a lot on that log of the hippie log. I should have bought some candles, you know, they're a lot epic in there, you know. Oh, yeah, I know, but they've all been mm. used. What? Have you got a lighter? Oh, of course you have, you smoke. Obviously, yeah. Silly question. Yeah, that look cool, you know, with some candles and uh, different coloured light pictures. Oh, what do you know about that look? Sounds like... Should go around collecting the candles all with wax in and place them in different places? No, I think... I yes. think that would be the best. There's one here with some wax in. So it's, it's I'm going to go around and collect them. And then we can start doing some really cool shots with it. See if you collect them as well.
know I should have bought some. I've got loads of these little tea candles. I've got some proper cathedral ones as well. I could have bought them as well. They look epic in here, you know. Pony job is great. I've got a load here. Where do you put them all? Oh. Yeah, come here, oh, bloody hell. If I fall to my death, it's your fault. <laughs> yeah. It's gone really slippery since it's been raining. Um. It is absolutely hanging it down. Right. One minute. Watch your head. Ah. I did say. <laughs> right, I think we should do the outro in the car. Right here, let's get to it. Right, there we go. That's just done. It's pissed it down. So we're going to go inside. You can hear it, the rain. I'm um, putting camera away. So that there was the Caton Hall Caves, the oh, yeah. Knights Templar Caves. Chucking it out now. Absolutely hailing it. I had no coat, as you could tell. I only had a t-shirt and a body warmer, pretty much. And unlike typical favour, we've actually done the outro in the car instead of the intro. 
because of the absolute lovely British bipolar weather. <laughs> Reminds me of some of my girlfriends. But strangely enough, the rain only happened the second I got out of the cave. And when I went back into it, it stopped. Which is... So I kind of pissed off the gods. Hmm. Yeah, makes you wonder, doesn't it? Uh, I kind of grazed myself a few bits on the barbed wire coming out. But nonetheless, if you have enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe and share. And comment down below if there's any locations or any haunted places wherever derelict, destroyed, demolished places, sacred places, places that you would love to see being filmed. Or places you don't, you, you don't dare go yourself, but we will because we've got equipment. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share with all your friends.